What's up, guys? So, very quick video here. I'm going to try to make it as short as I can. My thoughts, my channel, my opinion based on what I think. You guys can take my opinions however you'd like. You know I tell it like it is. I always will. I'm not trying to make you guys think one thing or another. Some channels do. Not going to say what channels. I think that's pretty obvious by now. Um, same with me. You guys know how I tell it like it is. So I'm going to get on into it. The only two launchers I know of that come straight out the box with 40 plus jewels is going to be your Grimberg Gavel and your PX-68. Um... <clears throat> What I like about the Grimberg Gavel as opposed to the PX-68, Pistel X-68. I'm going to make it as quick as I can. As easy to understand as I can. Because a lot of you don't understand. No offense to those who do. You guys see the comments. You know what I mean. When it comes to if it, if it comes down to either or, you're deciding whether you want to buy. You got to ask yourself, one, are you primarily going to use one of these for just your home for defense? Maybe on the, beside your pistol, your firearm, or if you have fighting skills or if you're not scared to get bloody and use a blade. If you're a felon and use this and use the blade if you need to or a combination of both like I will um, if I need to. Only you can decide that. And two, <clears throat> which one are you going to be able to conceal better if you chose to use it as, a, as an EDC, less lethal launcher? You guys got to ask yourself. Now, the Grimberg Gavel. A lot of you don't like it because you got to twist that, but no one complained about the FSC when it came out with twisting that. Just want to throw that out there because it's real. It's the truth. Um, the PX-68, all you got to do is bump that, and you're ready to go. The Grimberg Gavel, you can use 8-gram jewel rounds, which are probably going to hurt a hell of a lot more than... If you're using, say, 4.8 gram, 4.6 gram uh, MC Minor Combat Sport, they're uh, balls or home record busting balls. Either one I think would be a pretty effective. But on a side for EDC, let's stay on that subject right now. Which one would be better? I'm personally... Looking for size. Size matters. I'm looking for something that's not over large for out in public. You don't want to draw attention if you're a felon having one of these on you. If you're in an area where police know you, if you're in an area where they don't know you, then as far as they're concerned, I can tell you guys now, they're going to look at you as as long as you're not doing nothing stupid, just mind your own business like everyone else, in their mind, you're you're not you're probably not a felon. You're an everyday average person. Now, the Grimberg Gavel, in my opinion, for EDC and home defense, kind of a two for one there. As many of us like more compact, the Grimberg Gavel is where it's at for me because. It's about the size of the burners. It's a little bit slimmer. The handle here, if you minus that grip that I got from Wixen, it's not as long as this thing. This thing here is about is just about as long as up here for the barrel, which probably will be pretty uncomfortable. Um, a lot of you say 
Well, now some of you say the burner was uncomfortable, but imagine that. Um, this I would compare to the FSC. This I would compare size wise more so to the burners. Um, Conceal carry stopping power. Grimberg 8, eight gram round jewel rounds. And if it's in public, it's probably going to be three to five feet. Um, if something does happen. So, I mean, for me, the Grimberg gavel all the way around is going to be a win. This and the burner for concealed carry, which I don't have the burner here with me right now, but to these two. Now, for home defense, I'd use both of these in fairness because they both got power depending on if you're going to use what was advertised with this that round or what's designed for this that round um i don't really see no issue a plus with this is i like there's no magazine personally because i don't have to spend extra money on a magazine if if a, if that spring went bad I can almost guarantee that spring is going to be cheaper, a lot cheaper than a magazine that's after uh, shipping and taxes, 53 something for this one here. Um, also, if this magazine should break and you don't have an extra magazine, you're shit out of luck. Grimberg Gavel. There's no magazine to break, so... As long as you don't snap the spring in half, I don't know how you could do that. <laughs> You're good to go. You don't have to worry about that extra expense later. Um, so my thoughts on both of these. Oh, another thing is I like that this is made in the United States. Built, designed, machined, everything. Um, now I'm going to get into that. You guys know where I stand. But I had to get this because I, I do like it. I would not carry it on me. It's too large. But is what it is. So let me know what you guys think. Like, share, subscribe. More videos to come. And as always, stay 5'11".